we have done another Morrison's Too Good To Go box on our Too Good To Go app. We had a choice of two boxes. The first box I saw just had bread on the top of it, so I decided I'm not having that one. I'm going for this one. So I can see a few things that are looking good in there, but let's have a better look inside and see what we've got today. Right, first thing first, I am seeing tomatoes. I've not had fresh tomatoes for I can't remember how long. So we have got one, two, three packets that I can see of piccolo tomatoes. We have one, two, three, any more? No, packets of fine green beans. We have some fennel, which I absolutely adore. Um, oh, Chris is not going to be happy. This is pickled beetroot. Doesn't like pickled beetroot. I don't mind pickled beetroot, so I'll think of something to do with that because we have got one, two, three, four pickled beetroots. Oh, crikey. Strawberries. Oh, wonder how good these are. This is Spanish strawberries, Palmarita strawberries. They don't look too bad. They look in pretty good condition. So strawberries, maybe I have to buy some chocolate and dip them in there. So we've got two packs of strawberries. They smell lovely. Um, we have got some parsnips. We have got running out of space. We've got a few sweet clementines. We have got a cucumber. Again, I've not, uh, I can't remember the last time I bought a cucumber. Um, we have got a little round lettuce. Looking a little bit sad, but not too bad. Might be good enough for a salad tomorrow. We have got some bird's eye chilies. I know exactly what I'll be doing with these, is I will be putting them in the air fryer on low to dehydrate and they can go in my chilli drawer. No, spice drawer, not a full drawer of chilies. And we didn't need them, but we've got them. One, two, big bags, and one, two, small bags of carrots. So, let's have a think of what we're going to do. The pickled beetroot, that can go in a salad for me, not for Chris. We can use the cucumber and the lettuce and the tomato, as, as I said, in a salad easy enough the chilies are going to get dried out the trim green beans if i'm not going to use these in the next couple of days i will just top and tail them blanch them in some hot water and pop those on a tray to freeze we are doing at the moment um i don't know if you've seen the video um a year of soup so each month i will be doing four different soup recipes so i'm thinking parsnip and apple that could be a good soup because we've got some apples that need using up. So I think we may be parsnip and apple soup. Oranges will just get eaten. Strawberries will just get eaten. It's what to do with these carrots. Now, the best before date. Cake. Carrot cake. cake. Chris has just said cake. Did you hear him? Carrot cake. Right, I'll make a carrot cake. But I don't think I'm going to go through this many carrots to make carrot cake. Two carrot cakes. It, this would probably do about 10 carrot cakes. 10 carrot cakes. 10 carrot cakes. I could do 10 carrot cakes, but I don't think it would last very long. Um, right, so definitely carrot cake. Um, I've got a recipe for carrot cake on... Carrot soup. I've done lots of carrot soups. Oh, okay. I know. I need to think of other carroty things to do. I mean, there's carrot and coriander soup. Carrot bread? Is that such a thing? Carrot bread. I don't know. Carrot bread. We could look it up. I don't think you want carrot and coriander soup, though, do you? Yeah. <laughs> right so carrot challenge i think i might put it on the community board the facebook the um youtube community board and see if somebody can come up with some ideas for me so three pound nine p as usual the price for this hasn't gone up yet fortunately we'll be looking out for that but i can't complain about this three pound nine p is a good deal even if i only used half of this it would still be a really good deal but i will find things to do with them all so instead of stopping the video there and saying right that's it that's the morrison's video done i thought i'd show you some of the things that i'm doing with um some of the items that we got in the morrison's box so green beans what i'm going to do with these and let me show you is i'm going to top and tail them 
so that involves just trimming off the edges now some of these have already been trimmed and you find it's just that sticky out end that might need to be trimmed some of them have still got this little end on these look quite nicely done these look as if they've been already trimmed which is brilliant so all i'm going to do is i'll just give you a quick demo on what i would do is if these hadn't been trimmed so what i would do is i would stack them so that the ends are all together get my knife wherever it's gone there we go and just push them against the knife and just trim those ends don't worry i won't waste any of these that can go in my stock bag so i'll just pop those out of the way and then go around the other way stack them again so that you've got all your ends together just push them against your knife and trim so that's easily done so those are just going to go into there so i'll just move my ends out of the way now the beetroot now you can tell i've been doing the beetroot because my hands look like massacre hands i have grated the beetroot i was trying to think what can i do because chris hates like i said chris hates pickled beetroot it, it, it took me ages to get him to eat normal beetroot so he hates the pickled stuff however my chutney recipe that i do for my carrot and beetroot chutneys needs vinegar as part of the recipe so i'm just going to skip the vinegar and put a little bit more sugar in to counterbalance the acidicness of this beetroot so i've grated all those that four pack of beetroot i've grated some of the carrots and these are just in preparation for going in and making my chutney now back to the green beans what i'm going to do is i'm just going to boil a kettle full of water put it in a pan these green beans are going to go in for one minute out and into some cold water i'm going to have a bowl on the side with i have um let me show you these ice packs in the freezer handy for injuries and different things but always handy to have for, for stuff so i'm just going to put a bowl of cold water and with one of these ice packs in and i'm just going to dump those green beans into um that ice bath as soon as they've in and then just dra drain them off and pop them on a tray to go into the freezer parsnips this is my first soup i'm going to make for my april soup recipes if you've not seen in march i started a year of soup so that's going to um, go into my april soups that's one soup a month one soup a week per month and it's going to go in with some bramley apples i got a little while ago that are starting to look a little bit sad so that is that i will show you the chutneys and everything else once we are done so at the end of the day i've ended up with soup chutney frozen green beans to go in the freezer these can go on a shelf these can go in the fridge i just like storing them in these jars because it portions them up nicely for me and they fit nicer in the fridge and that's it so that's using up some of the stuff that i got in this too good to go box thanks for watching please do the liking and the subscribing really appreciate those of you who have done and are going to and i'll see you next time